Beware. This is how it begins. Six innocent jugs outside for winter. And then you realize you're addicted. And why wouldn't you be? It needs no special equipment. It's really hands-off. It's super simple. You can plant seeds in the middle of winter when you thought you couldn't. And depending on where you live, you can do this as early as December and as late as the end of spring. So what do you need to get this started? You need a container, one that can be sealed and has a translucent lid. You need a growing medium, either potting mix or a compost. You need a craft knife or a utility knife for poking holes. You need plant tags and a marker. And of course, a few packets of seeds. So let's get started. What we're going to do here is put some drainage holes in the bottom of whatever container you have chosen to use. Here I'm using a steam tray, aluminum steam tray, that you see a lot of times in restaurants and used by caterers. Now this kind of container comes with a harder plastic lid. And I have found that cutting this upside down uh, on a cutting board makes it a whole lot easier. Now you can use any kind of container that you can close up, that you can put drainage holes in the bottom and vent holes in the top. All we want to do here is let whatever weather is going on outside come into the container. And then as humidity builds up within the container, because these do act like small greenhouses, uh, we want that to be able to escape. So this will help maintain a nice environment for your seeds to grow where they are damp, but they are not soggy. Now, once you get your holes cut into the top, it's time for us to fill the container with our potting mix. Here we are using a general potting mix that has some nutrition and also allows moisture to be retained. You do not want to be using a seed starting mix here. It is a sterile, those are usually sterile mixes, uh, are not great at holding onto water because part of their job is to drain freely. So you want to use a potting mix or a compost here so that your seeds uh, get off to a good start. You want to use about three or four inches so that the ability to maintain moisture in our uh, container is good. You also want to make sure that the, the soil you're putting in is dampened. And by that, I mean uh, you've added water, and if you hold it in your hand, you feel the damp, you can squeeze it together, but as you squeeze it together, no dirt, no water drips. If you have any dripping, then your, your dirt is way too wet and you need to add a little more dry soil to it to account for that so that you, you really just have a nice damp soil here. Now it is time to add your seeds. This is the fun part. Now you might be wondering what kind of seeds can I use? Well, the general rule of thumb is if it will grow in your area, you can winter sow it. Uh, here I am, we are using uh, sedum seeds. These are incredibly tiny seeds and they do need light to germinate. But what you do with any seeds that you decide you want to try is you follow whatever the directions on the seed packet say. If they need light to germinate under other circumstances, that's what they need under these circumstances. If they need to be buried, they need to be buried. So you just follow the seed directions. Now, if you are new at this and would like a little more direction about which seeds to pick, 
let me give you a few key words to look for on your seed packets. Anything that needs a period of cold before germination, which is called cold stratification, like an artichoke or milkweed, they both uh, need that to get going. Anything that self-seeds, uh, any perennial. And you know how sometimes perennials can be so fussy to get going. This is the perfect way to germinate them. Any vegetables, flowers, I mean, seriously, you name it. I say have fun and experiment. Now here we added some vermiculite to the top. I like to do that on my seeds uh, that need light to germinate. And we're watering it all in very good. Like I said, this is the only water outside of what is available in nature that this little container is going to get. So give it a nice good water. And when you feel like, okay, my seeds are watered in, uh, you can, you just pop the lid on. Now, if you use something like I am, you don't even need duct tape or anything to hold it on. They snap in place. So at this point, the only thing left to do is to put this outside and let nature take its course. Now, it's your turn. What will you be planting in your first or your next winter sowing container? Let me know in the comments below because I'd love to know what you are doing too. If you would like to see the reveals of all these winter sowing containers, please hit subscribe. Thank you so much for watching Real Food Comes Dirty. Until next time, this is Audrey. Bye for now.